Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here with your word for the day. And today we're going to be discussing a passage that some of us may not like what it says. But anytime we come to a passage of scripture where we feel conviction or we don't like it or need to wrestle with it, we need to remember that all scripture is breathed out by God, that all of scripture is the inspired and errant word of God, which means that it is perfect and true and it is God's word directly spoken to us. And so we need to remember that as we look at all of scripture, but especially those passages that we may not like initially. So we're gonna read 1 Peter chapter 2, starting in verse 13. And it says, "'Be subject for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether it be to the emperor as supreme or to governors as sent by him to punish those who do evil and to praise those who do good. For this is the will of God. But they doing good, you should put to silence the ignorance of foolish people. Live as people who are free, not using your freedom as a cover up from evil, but living as servants of God. Honor everyone, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the emperor. Now, some of us may not like what it says or think, well, Peter didn't really know what was going to happen in our time right now. But guess what? God did. Since all of Scripture is God's Word written to us, He knew all of time before any of this was ever written. And so He knew what was going to happen in Peter's time, our time, and everything in between. And so um, we can trust that this is God's Word for us today. And guess what was happening during Peter's time when he wrote this? Nero was the emperor when Peter was writing this. Nero was the guy who used to take Christians and burn them alive on stakes to use them as torches to light his roads. So not a really great time uh, in history for Christians uh, when Peter was writing this. And yet God still chose to write that we are supposed to honor the emperor and be subject for the Lord's sake to every human institution. God knew that and he still wrote it for us in our lives then and now. And so what does that mean for us today? Because we don't have emperors, but you can replace that word emperor with president. So if it says honor the president, what does that mean for us? It doesn't say honor the president or emperor if you like the person or if they are your political party, it just says, honor them. That's it, period. And so as followers of Christ, we have to then like wrestle with the fact that are we going to submit to what scripture says, even if we don't like it? See, right before it, it says to fear God. And the beginning says, be subject for the Lord's sake. And so it really comes down to, do we fear God above everything else? Are we willing to follow Christ and be obedient to what he says, even if we don't like it, or it goes against what our fleshly human desire is? Are we willing to surrender our thoughts, our desires, our viewpoints, our political beliefs to what scripture actually says and have this scripture, what God's truth is, be the authority in our life? Because following Jesus and obeying him and loving him and fearing him is the most important thing that we can ever do in our life. And so I have just some reflection questions for us to evaluate in our own life between you and God and see, am I living out my obedience, my love and devotion for God in every area of my life? And so... Do we live as servants of Christ? This is our identity and calling as followers of Jesus. And so do we live as a servant of Christ? Do we honor everyone, even those people that we don't like, that have hurt us, that have different beliefs than we do? Do we honor everyone? Are we loving people? That's how we reflect Jesus to the world, is by loving them. Um, do we fear God and submit every area of our life to him. See, he is the King of kings and Lord of lords. He is the ultimate authority. And we have to choose whether or not we submit every area of our life to him and follow him no matter what. 
So I pray that you choose to submit to Christ in every area and let God's word be the authority over all of your life. Have a great day.